We're gonna go to a place we've never been before. A really cool place. I'm I'm expecting it to be pretty sick cuz I mean it's today we're doing something different on our channel We're not actually heading out to look for video games. We know specifically what we're going to get today We're going to Gerard's to pick up a Capcom versus SNK2 cabinet a huge one So Riff said that he was gonna bust out a sweet deal with uh, the completionist. It was two arcade cabs for a pretty sweet deal. Not just any arcade cabs, and Street Fighter Third Strike. These are like two of the best cabinets there is, it's in, in my opinion. Let's -a go! Get an arcade. <laughs> it's been a long time since I. 50 bucks for all of them. I'm just kidding. I want a churro. Oh boy, these are beautiful. I'm hyped. Let's go, Ricky. We got we got the old school crew. Me and you. Let's do it like we do. Calling Jorard, home on speakerphone. Calling Jorard, home on speakerphone. Arcades are one of those things that I really love, but we never really look for on our show or talk about because A, they're really expensive, and B, they take up a lot of room, but I got offered a really good deal, a deal I couldn't pass. Good, how are you? Good, hey, we are leaving my house and getting gas. So probably like 45 minutes. I love arcades, ever since I was a kid, well, I guess not in the US. Bro, where I grew up, there was no arcades when I was a kid. Our laundromat was, it was so ghetto, it didn't even have arcades, it only had laundromats. Street Fighter Third Strike is insanely cool. It actually is. It's, I love the graphics on Third Strike. So, in order to play nice arcades, I had to go to Mexico. How jacked up is that? Is it? Nah. But originally this arcade purchase was never really figured out. We're kind of getting them as a team for the office at my work, but Ricky really wants one and I'm starting to really want one. I know I know Ricky wants to buy one, but the question is, would Ricky take Street Fighter Third Strike or would he pick Capcom versus SNK2? So, it's one of those situations where like Who's gonna get it in the end? I want it. I'm planning on getting one. This is what I'm taking home, right? This is this is going for me. And Ricky's over there, like, well, I kinda, I kinda want one too. So who's it gonna go to? I guess there's only one way to find out. I got my both. Ricky, his addiction it lingers. This is this is beyond exciting. something like this and we're here and I have to admit yeah I didn't know you had this <laughs> that, that caught my eye more than we anything. get to Gerard's house and we're excited he opens his garage and man he has arcades everywhere I'm not gonna lie once we walked into Gerard's house slash garage house whatever you want to call it it was insane I never seen so many arcades that I like in one area there was a guy in Burbank who was going out of business, or rather, who's being pushed out of business. He has a, a family fun center in the Burbank Mall. He, I guess a while back, ended up picking up a lot of different arcades, which is kind of a big deal because, as you know, as a video game collector, that can be expensive, so you can only imagine uh, getting arcades in a lot, buying a bundle deal. I went over to his place, I bought the DDR machine, it was in perfect condition, and he looked at me, he was like, do you want anything else? As you would say, and man, he's got Killer Instinct, he's got a Marvel vs. Capcom, he's got like a, a PS4 hub station, he's got DDR. And so he gave me a deal on any five cabinets I wanted that were not on the floor. So I got to do my own little mini Retro wow. Liberty. Legit, Gerard had a lot more than what we actually saw in the video. A lot. I walked up to him and I found that Killer Instinct one and I was like, this thing is brand New. There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing that's wrong with it is that there are some some graffiti etch -a sketch gravings in the in this. This is so changeable. Wow. Everything else is brand new. Honestly, I was overwhelmed. Gerard, I need to hang out at your house more. And he's got all this stuff. I mean, but he has what I'm looking for. 
Oh boy. Okay, so now I purposely like didn't look at these, but I got a glance and I have to say they're much like sturdier and cleaner and nicer looking than I was expecting. You thought that you thought I was gonna sell you some no, trash. No, you just don't know. You, you know? just don't know, absolutely. And, and I, I know you would never sell me trash, but I also was like, their arcades are probably beat up pretty bad, but yeah. Capcom versus SNK2 and Street Fighter Third Strike. I think these are called thrust cabinets. Oh me oh my. Honestly, pretty darn clean. And I have I have played these cabinets a total of maybe ten times. So you didn't they didn't get beat up. So to we say. didn't even touch them. They are large. They're huge. They have the made in USA, which is why they feel, in my opinion, so so rugged and strong. But made and come over here, bro. Don't be scared to wobble the camera. <laughs> That's a sign. Donald Trump was here. <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of arcades that were made to be played. Uh, and I just, I don't play. It's uh, just taking up room. I'll be playing. So Capcom versus SNK2, Mark of the Millennium 2001. Beautiful, clean. It's so, look at this. I like it because there's room. There's room to play. Yeah. It's not like. I've been to different places and different arcades where I play arcade cabinets and they feel good, but I'm like, it kind of feels tinkery. No, these. Uh, they're like thrust cabinets where it's you're kind of like you have this screen right there and you have the six pack here. The control panel is huge. There's room for your arms. There's room to put your drink. There's room to hang out and move. The screen is separated from the control panel by a lot. And so uh, that's why I bought them because I was like, oh, they're perfect for tournaments. So they're so, cool. they're so, so cool. it's so like made to, to, to enjoy, not just to have. I didn't know I needed this type of arcade until I played this type of arcade. It felt like a masterpiece. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> Stop it! Perfect. So Gerard wants to show us that they work even though I trust the guy, so he, we start putting it together. We got them started, both of them. And oh man, just just hearing the sound, you know, as, as gamers we know, plugging in uh, Nintendo and hearing Mario start up or Mega Man start up, but man, in the arcade too, there's something special. I used to love the noise, you know when you turn on the Street Fighter cab, the do 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 Yeah. Oh, that was always my favorite noise. Like at the arcade, I'm like, I'm waiting for it to turn on, I'm like, yes, yeah. it's ready. Oh. I don't know, I told you. I like arcades. <laughs> the smell of the arcade. I could smell it. Mmm. We need to play some games. <laughs> Dude, this, this, honestly, it, it, it looks great. It feels good. It's just so So we finally got to the part of the night where we had to load up the cabinet. Bro, I was ready. We were all ready. <laughs> it's a CRT. Oh, boy. Uh -oh. Just let me know when you guys are ready though. This is it. This is time to load these boys up into the into our vehicle and just take them home. Want it. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh my god. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> but we really weren't. It was pretty embarrassing, bro. Wait, how'd you get it here? Uh, I had a U-Haul with a bed. Uh, yeah. it down. This is heavy. And Gerard and Ricky get over there, and I'm on the top of the truck, and Gerard and Ricky are down there, and, and we go one, two, eh. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh my god. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Uh, no, you're just gonna lift up. Ready? Yeah. No, this is no. just gonna tilt and fall. Yeah. We're gonna crush our feet right now. It, this thing did not only not get into the truck, it didn't get off the ground. <laughs> I really don't want to talk more about this. I was kind of embarrassed about that. <laughs> well, we did, we, had a, we, had a, we had a bed, so like, it was on a machine, so you just press the button and it goes 
So those are the kind we need. We underestimated how heavy these things were. I know they're CRTs, and we talked to our buddy Sam, who does arcade stuff, and he was like, uh, those are really heavy, guys. I hope you're prepared for this. Dude, this thing's too heavy. <laughs> we literally, all in, in between all three of us, we try to lift, and it did not move. So uh, we decided, um, well, hey Gerard, see you later. They're heavy, man. I for, I, that was the one thing I left out. There's always one thing that someone leaves out. That's what I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's late, too, so there's not any way we can really like get it done. We're gonna come back um, another night. Wow. Yep, it's not happening today. What? It's too heavy, man. It's too heavy. That was embarrassing. Disappointed in myself. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's dying. Oh no, ooh, that's... don't you go dying on me. These are traditional old CRTs with motherboards inside. These things are heavy as hell. Made in USA, you know it's heavy. True. <laughs> Good old Trump. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Turn the camera off, turn the camera off. I guess we gotta come back. We'll, well, we'll come back out here to Gerard. He only lives like 30 minutes away, but. Well, our wives aren't gonna be too happy. We just wasted a whole night. What are we what are we doing today? Why are we going out again? So this is round two. Round one, go see the arcades, because we could not lift them up. We could The cool thing is that they're on wheels, <laughs> but when you have to lift them, dude, those things are It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good because we're gonna go get a truck with a lift on it. And then from there, we're gonna go to Gerard's, pick up the arcades. Bring them back. We are going to pick up a truck that has a hydraulic lift in the back. We're borrowing it from my workplace, my office. Let's go. <laughs> nah. Let's go get these cabs and get them in our possession. My wife made you cookies. Chanel, you're the best. Stay away from my wife's cookies. Yes. <laughs> I hope people know what that's from. I wrote so too. I heard it with that. <laughs> Got to the better, 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 blink, blink. It's really sad that we couldn't lift them. Like I was talking to my wife and she was like, this time we're gonna show the arcade who's boss. I showed her the footage and she was like, that, that's funny, but seriously, you guys couldn't lift it? God, they were heavy. It's, it was kind of embarrassing. I showed my wife and she was like, you guys couldn't lift them? Mm -hmm. I was like, Ricky's a strong guy. I, I have strong legs, so I feel like we should have. No, we couldn't. Ricky's back was sore. He didn't do anything. This is called getting old. Oh well, as Gabo says, I'm illegal. All right. <laughs> We head out to the office, and man, we get. All right, so we're at uh, one of my offices, and we're gonna borrow a hydraulic lift truck so we can get the arcade. So uh, this is a long journey uh, tonight. We're gonna have to come here, and go to Gerard's, come here back again, then go home. It's gonna be a long night getting this done. We're thinking midnight. It's like 8:30 right now or so. Let's keep going. And I, I got to tell you guys, I don't spend enough time there. I work uh, two jobs, uh, pretty much full time two jobs. So I am busy all the time and I don't get to spend near enough time in this office. There's, you have a face not even a mother could love. There's toys everywhere. I, I have an office space that I built to look beautiful and amazing to hang out in, which I don't get to hang out enough in anymore. So Mikey's pop collection. For those of you who haven't seen, this is a Roblox room where we have a Roblox show. A guy in our office has a Roblox show. Does really well, by the way. Realistic gaming if you have kids that like Roblox. Uh, a green room in here. For those who haven't seen this stuff, a green room in here. Again, like I said, some of my toys and knickknacks lying around over here. I miss this room. I want to come back more often. But I have to work two jobs. But enough of that. It's about the arcade right now. Whatever. It is what it is. We go back through the back giant warehouse area, and I didn't know this about Ricky, but on the next Ghost Hunters, I actually, 
I used to work in a warehouse kind of like this, and I hated being in the dark in that warehouse. It's pretty scary in here, I'm not gonna lie. Look at this. Always hated warehouses in the dark. Oh my gosh, bro, I just started thinking of the new IT trailer and I just got freaked out. Oh, this is frightening. We were walking back there and I could see he was genuinely scared. It wasn't like him being silly. Where are the key, where are the lights? The funny part is he's walking through and he felt like he kept hearing things and I was like, oh, Ricky. Not even joking, I heard footsteps behind us. And then he thought that, you know, he heard something again. You heard footsteps behind you? Yeah, but well, while you were filming right now, I like here, I was like, I'm not even walking. Or why, why are you telling me that? And then when we're like off camera, he's like, hey, uh, I know we're gonna be back later. Can we, can we leave the lights on back here? And I was like, <laughs> and God said, let there be light. We get the truck, we load up. We're a bunch of big, powerful, strong men. It's funny how I like feel like it's more of a man with the truck. On there. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite song of all time. <laughs> I'm just laughing because this is all when we, I turn it on, I was like, that's the best music. <laughs> we get on the road and we're going, we're driving. This feels like a journey. This feels like a show, like a production. It feels like the American Pickers. We're in a big truck, laughing with each other, going to pick up something that's too, too big for our britches. Pretty excited. I feel manly driving that truck. I mean, when you look at it, it's a really small truck, but man, I feel like a man. A man's man. It was awesome. I wanted I just wanted to like yell yeehaw out the window and throw up my Texas hat and say, welcome to another episode of Game Tanks Early. We went back the next time, but I keep prepared. I did push-ups, crunches, I was ready for whatever the heck this arcade was gonna throw at me. Actually, arcades. We're, we're back at Gerard's. Hey, Gerard, good to see you again. Well, welcome to, to round two. You ready to get these out of here? I need the room for more arcade cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Ricky, you have an addiction. Hi, it's bad. Uh, no, two. Don't tell my girlfriend. I got like two, three more maybe, and then I'm done. Uh huh. That's what Ricky said about kids. <laughs> and this time we roll the cabinets over, and oh my gosh. Wow. What the heck were we thinking before? We should have done like this the first time. <laughs> It's good, it's good. Keep going, you're good. Why didn't we do it like this the first time? Probably any as complex as fault. Eh, a little bit of gabbo too. Oh my gosh, my favorite part of this are these marquees. Look at these things, light up and everything. They are so clean. This is easy, this is how I wish it what we would have done the first night because these things roll, these thrust cabinets roll. So it was like All right, so we finally get these things loaded. We drive them back to the warehouse. I'm Truth be told, we probably aren't gonna get home till like 1.30, it's already late. It depends, it's pretty late. What time is it? It's almost midnight right now. <laughs> we'll probably get home tonight around, I'm guessing like 1.30. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, I mean, I'm excited that we're almost done, but truth be told, I honestly wanna play these arcades. I know, me too. <laughs> Let's set them up and play. I really wanna home. play. So we're back at the office again. It is time to unload these things. We go into the office and we gotta kinda figure out exactly where these are gonna go. All right, it's uh, it's midnight and we're gonna put one of the arcade cabs right here. I think this is gonna be a perfect spot, the arcade coming out this way, next to some of like, you know, the, the Pac-Man stickers and Mario stickers with this right next to it. We found a good spot uh, for one of them to go where Mark the Shark was. Yes, we've done the Mark the Shark songs before. Gotta move Mark the Shark. <sighs> Uh, we put it away 
and we we start unloading this thing. Time to bring it in. Call in, call in the backup. No, we don't need backup. This is an easy move. These things roll right into place. We're unloading these things. They are honestly so pretty. I'm pretty jealous because when Riff first described them, I, I was picturing just a little arcade, like, you know, like a Street Fighter arcade. But these things are beautiful. Oh my gosh, that does fit amazing. Oh my gosh. They're in there and we set up the Capcom versus SNK one first. We power it up. Oh my gosh, it just feels special. All right, so the cabinets are offloaded. We hook them up. They're glorious. They're honestly awesome. Dude, this like reminds me when we used to go to Nickel Nickel. Yeah, we used to go there a lot. Oh God, I love this game. Then we set up the Street Fighter Third Strike one, power it up in the green room. Oh my gosh, it is amazing to see these in here. 1999, Marquee coming through. So this is Street Fighter Third Strike. It's gonna go in this room. Even though they're not gonna stay exactly both in there, who's gonna get one? Me or Ricky? You guys will have to find out because one of us, I can say, is taking one of those arcade cabinets home with them in a future episode that we have already filmed. It's seriously, the gameplay is insane. These are my favorite graphics. Dreamcast, Sega Saturn era. In reality, this is actually a dream come true life goals for me. This is one of those things to where when you tell your friends you have an arcade of your own set up, this is like what everybody wants when you're a kid. Like, okay, I can get a console, I can get a Nintendo somewhere down the line, but can I get an arcade? And that's it, we're out of here. But there's still a question, who's gonna get the arcade? Cause one has to stay at the office, but the other one, Oh, someone's got to get dibs on it. Capcom versus SNK2, uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. We couldn't be happier. Uh, Gerard, thank you. Thank you for the loving homes that we get to we get to hang out with these in the office. So we'll be coming to the office, not just for work anymore. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time on another episode of the NES Pursuit. It's one o'clock. Why am I being hyped? I don't want no trouble. All right. Have you? S Tell me you wouldn't be scared of me in an alley. Watch this. Tell me this wouldn't be scary. Yo, what up, my dog? You want some of this? That was so full of hurting mouth with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even hold <laughs> Hey, I told you not to use colors around my mama's no more, homie. <laughs> my wife was watching. What happened? Did I look scary? Did I look, would you be scared of me? I don't know if I ever told you. I'm illegal. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, see you later. Our wives are gonna kill us. I told my wife I'd be back at ten. My little buttercup. <laughs> I'm illegal. <laughs> yeah. Alright, your turn. I know the scariest part of all. It's your time. If you ever run into one of these arcades at the, at, at the arcade, play it with two players. It's beautiful how much space is between you and the other player, and it's like comfortable. Who's it gonna be when you don't know me anymore? Night. Cut this out. Night. Shut up. I'm illegal. Night. Hey, can I five bucks on you? Oh, wallet. Great. You don't have any money in here. You have a you have a half off coupon at Wahoo's. Cut it. No, leave it. Wow, that's nice. Look at this. 
We pull up to Gerard's in those trucks and we're like, those trucks? That truck? <laughs> nice. 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 I'm illegal. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, he's gone. We can fit that DDR in the car. Also, uh, we can all take a moment to laugh that I was trimming my hair today and I accidentally used a one instead of a three and I didn't fix the back yet. Look at this. Nice. Ooh. Nice. We're still friends. Here. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> Look at me. I'm buying something. Let's cut that again. <laughs> Got him. One that I really liked was that Cod Conversations S and K one. <laughs> I couldn't even say it right. I was like, I had like got stuck on a cotton conversation. It felt like so good. No one listens to me, anyways. <laughs> That's messed up. Everyone listens to you.